Guys, this is Pineful Pro Box Respect. Uh, really excited to be here with a, a young boxer, Sanjeev Singh Sahota from London, professional uh, boxer. Sanj, how are you, brother? Thank you for having me. I feel good, ready to rumble October the 8th. I bet, I bet. You're just back from Spain, aren't you? That's right, we had a training camp, me and my team. Yeah. Negus, Boy Jones Jr., Hamza, Harley Ben, who have come with uh, prospect. Boy Jones Jr. is already an upcoming fighter, he's already fighting on October the 8th. Um, had an tra amazing training camp in Spain and we're still four weeks out to October the 8th and I'm ready to go. Feeling fit, fit feel and... Feel good, feel yeah. ready. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Did you manage to, I know there's a, down in Marbella, there's the MGM Marbella as well. Did you manage to get down to there no, at we all? we haven't been down there too, so we're based in Mercia, so it's about five hours from there. Yes, yeah, along the coast, a bit yeah, further up though, isn't right. it? North towards Barcelona. Cool, cool, cool. Um, mate, um, I saw your second fight at the York Hall, which was a, a four round decision. You look very, very sharp. At the moment, your professional record's 3-0, right? Yeah, 3-0. Uh, had the first fight in Copper Box. One in the first round. The second was your call, as you said. The third fight was India. And uh, all three fights have gone well. Just training hard and now. Folks, I'm on the fourth. I don't look anyone over my shoulders. It's going to be a tough fight. Yeah. Just training hard and hopefully should have all the hard training will pay off on the night. That, that last fight you had in India, that must have been quite surreal, right? Wow, that was an amazing yeah. venue. Um, fighting in front of um, 8,000 people in Tigray Stadium in New Delhi with all the people. The, the amazing. Crowd there was amazing. Yeah. Especially yeah. all the people out there was just amazing, respectful, and just amazing to be in a venue just like that. To be part of that. And it's um, a lot of the mixed martial arts, boxing, it's getting huge out there because obviously Amir Khan now, he's in Pakistan, he's doing a lot right, over there. Yeah. Uh, with the SFL uh, guy, I know Bill Dosange as well. Right. So big things happening over there as well, over right? Yeah, between in, in, in Asian um, prospect in the centre of the Asian centre, between them, all of us, all the fighters, we're yeah. building up, up a name between us, and hopefully we can. Uh, Build up the Asian pops in a bit more as well. There's a guy over there. I don't know if you uh, you cross paths with him. Is it a super middleweight? Virinder Singh, isn't it? Virinder Singh, yeah. Virinder Singh, I sorry. I was fighting on his card in Delhi. He actually, that's, that was a card I was fighting on. Oh, so well, a very good, good fight. Um, he's a great fighter as well. Yeah. Um, good to be on his card as well on that night. Good, good experience and good promotion for you as well, yeah, Sanj, right? Sanj, you're from, um, obviously, you, you said about your next fight, uh, 8th of October, let's plug this a little bit, it's at Harrow, Harrow Leisure Centre, right? Harrow Leisure Centre, 8th of October. Yeah. Um, the doors will be open from 6pm. Um, it'll probably be, it's a four round of this fight, and um, I think I'm scheduled to be on half seven, eight-ish. Okay. Get tickets from your website too, right? Yeah, you can get tickets on my social media pages, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, my name is Sanjeev Singh, so I just search them on um, social media pages, Good guy, guys. Guys, get at him. Sanjeev Singh Sahota, 8th of uh, October, Harrow. Um, you're from a Punjabi background. That's right. um, do you get good support, Sanj, from Essex and the Asian community then? I get amazing support. It's amazing support. You know, yeah. I have, in, in such little time of my boxing journey so far, yeah. I've got a built up such a great little fan base and just people support me. I'm honoured. I feel like a world champion already in the sense of just people support me. I get great support between all the Asians and not just Asians as well even when I'm based in Spain I get a lot of people from Spain coming over from Spain yeah and so it's all the end of the day it's one nature and then we all can get together and support and it's amazing I saw some of the pictures uh, obviously uh, from Spain as well it looked like you was uh, you know obviously serious training but you're having a great time out there as well yeah, right yeah it is it's obviously you've got to enjoy your training um, yeah but training does come first because at the end of the day your hard work pay off on the night at least I know I can go to bed and now I've done the hard work. Yep. And may God um, wish the best for the night on the 8th of October. The best outcome, the best man should win. Definitely. I don't know um, I don't know if you want to give a big shout out to your training team, mate. And how long have you been with them? Yeah, um, a shout out for all my team, really. All, all my team, Dominic Negus, Lenny Butcher, all my training partners, Boy Jones Jr., Harley Ben, Hamza. Um, been with them for Also, Nigel Cole from Fitness First is helping me. Which let me do my cardio work. I do a lot of my cardio um, circuit work as well. Um, and shout out for the whole team, family, friends, everyone. It's a you, pal. Yeah, th thanks, Anja. Uh, appreciate that. I appreciate your time Take today. Take your YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look up Pro Box Respect TKO. Um, we're actually, as Anja just mentioned, we're at the Fitness First in Romford. That's right. And uh, it's a great place to train, mate. Oh, and it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, to be honest, I do all my fitness and cardio here. Yeah. Obviously, I have the boxing studio here as well. 
Yeah, uh, just turn it around a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Perfect, perfect. Check it out, guys. Romford. Perfect. Conversation as well. Bro, do you know much about your next opponent? Um, I know his name, but I, to be honest, I don't really look too much on him. I let my trainers do that. Yeah. Um, I know he's a tough boy. Um, like I said, I was respectful fighters out there. Um, I was just going to concentrate on my work, my training, and hopefully on the night, the best man should win. Perfect, good stuff. Um, are you currently under the Frank, Frank Warren promotion banner, mate? Yeah, Frank Warren. Frank Warren is my manager. Yeah. He's obviously uh, promoting me and um, taking me to the next level. Good stuff, good stuff. And you can't get better than that. Uh, can't get better than me. He's, but, yeah. him, he, he's made my dream come true. He's part of it, making my dream come true. And, uh, and a big shout out to Alfie Warren, good friend Alfie of mine Warren as well. Is well my good man. guy, my Always bad. He's my gloves. Yeah, he's a funny, funny yeah, dude funny as well. Man. He'll be like saying, he's got five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Make it free, Alfie. Let's just get out of there. <laughs> yeah, no, no Indian time. So yeah. uh, we'll we'll be there. Um, what's um, maybe a little bit sort of premature, but what's in store for the future, Sanj? The future is October the eighth, now, just for me. Yeah. Um, I like to take it second to come. Yeah. Do I want to become a world champion? Yes, it's everyone's dream, every fighter's dream. But Definitely. It's too early, early days for me to say something like that. I just want to take each step, each fight that comes. Um, be hungry. And they should just work hard and hopefully it all work out. Yeah, you're a great guy. Um, stay humble, mate. Um, come 8th of October, I saw your uh, second fight, as you know, very controlled, uh, loads of power punches. You work the body very well as well. What can we expect on the 8th of October? Um, just hard work should be paying off on October 8th. Um, working on new things and I'm learning it. every day. I'm learning, I'm like a sponge and I'm just soaking everything I'm in the program. I'm learning and I'm also getting a great sparring. In. I'm learning so much of all the, of everyone. Good stuff, good stuff. You mentioned about in the future being a world champion. God bless, hopefully everything comes off well for you. Who's your biggest inspirations in boxing? Oh, so many, for so many different reasons. Rick Yatton for being a great home champion. Like you mentioned before, I mean, Khan as well. He's done so much for the Asian side of boxing. Absolutely. He's as well. Um, I like Canelo. He was fighting in the He's taking right. fight on the 17th of September. I like his style, Miguel Cotto. So many, even Pacquiao from the background he come from, from a humble Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao proved the point that where you begin, any dreams can come true. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so many great um, fighters, that even Muhammad Ali was an ambassador for boxing. Yeah, there's so, so, so many great fighters so many out great there, mate. fighters I respect that. Without them, they, they paid their way for us to follow it. Definitely. And we're on, currently we're on a, a massive high in British boxing, mate. 13 world champions. British boxing is amazing, isn't it? It's you know? amazing. It's, it's getting bigger and bigger and better and better. Yeah. And that brings me on to probably my uh, last question, really, um, regarding any thoughts on uh, on uh, tonight's fight. Because if you look at it, Glofkin, mate, Glofkin's coming to the UK to box. I mean, huge yeah, superstar. Tough fight. It's gonna be a tough fight. Kel Brook, wish him all the best. Yeah. Obviously, the English fighter. Um, you want the British fighter to win, but yeah, it's gonna be a tough fight. Both fighters are very strong and were world champions. See the best man should win on night. You're going to be put the hard work in our bed. Yeah, you're going to be rooting for Kel. Um, I'm rooting for both because I like <laughs> both fighters. Triple G, Triple S, guys are the same sort of thing. Definitely, definitely. But, um, and, they're, and they're both nice guys, very yeah, humble they are guys. Humble and gentlemen. Gentlemen. Be you a know. gentleman outside the ring, be a Spartan inside the ring. Exactly. And you and you saw even after the weigh-in, mate, they had a nice little handshake. Yeah, I think, you know. Do you know, in this sport, you'll meet such respectful, humble people outside the ring. Because you're such a disciplined sport. Yes, we're in the we're in the ring. It's a business day. We've got to fight. We've got to do what we have to do. But always, you find me, especially me. I'm talking about myself. After the fight, I always shake the man's hand and respect to all other fighters as well. Good stuff. Um, I don't do no trash talk. I don't believe in that. As long as I do the talking in the ring, and that's it. Yeah. Well, we're all going to enjoy tonight. I think it'll be a, a great event, mate. Um, as you say, I'm rooting for both. Uh, probably Kelbrook a bit more, mate, our home fighter. Um, and let's, you know, over the next uh, month or so, uh, well, next week, Canelo Smith, and then we've got Fury uh, Klitschko as well. Yeah, that's another great fight, mate. Fury, know? actually, on my, on my pro debut. Yeah. What a gentleman as well. Definitely. That's what I mean. I, I met him that year, and he wished me all the best of luck for the fight. Yeah. And I've got a few pieces taken with him, and he was a true gentleman. Definitely. And let's not forget, only a few months ago, Amir Khan versus Canelo himself. Yeah, exactly. Another huge yeah. fight. Huge fight. You know, listen, um, Khan give it his best shot. Canelo came out the better man that night, but listen, in the end day, you flew all over there. Definitely. Got in the ring with the man, and that's it. And he's, he's not a nobody. Canelo's Definitely. a top fighter out there. 
And you know, it probably doesn't get the same mention, but uh, a big up to uh, Frampton versus uh, Leo. Yeah. Uh, Huge oh, performance. Frampton, I think Frampton's an amazing fire. To be honest, where well, I've been in Spain, I know Frampton really well in a sense of because where I've trained, I've done some sparring with Kiko Martinez, and Kiko Martinez is a tough boy. He and is. For Frampton to be Kiko Martinez done a great job. I take my hat to him as well. Mate, listen, um, really appreciate your time today. Thank you. Keep doing all the great stuff. I look forward to being there on the 8th of October. Thank you. God bless. I also want to say thank you as well to my sponsor, St. Matthew's Healthcare, for supporting my journey as well. Also, you send a lot of support to my journey. And just thank you to everyone and any of you guys for doing this interview with me. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what, mate? Your family should be really proud of you. You're a great lad. Thank you. And uh, it's been a pleasure. Take care, Satch.